YouTube, what's going on? Scuba Steve. Hey, today I'm going to do a second video about acid buffers, specifically just acid buffers. I'm going to touch on this. I'm going to say why you need it or why you don't need it and uh, make some clarifications for some, some, some folks out there that I know had a lot of questions on that I tried to get back with you. Uh, let me go ahead and do another video on this and try to clarify some of that stuff for you guys. Stay with me. Okay, guys, acid buffers. Do you need it? Okay, there's if you're using an RODI unit, you absolutely must have a buffer. Okay, RODI units strip out everything that's inside of your water, meaning no mineral content, no buffering content. You must have a buffering content inside of your water, period. Um, would I ever use this with tap water? No, I never would. Why? Because KH is. Carbonate hardness is a temporary hardness, and you keep dumping acid on it, and what's going to happen is your carbonate hardness is going to get exhausted, and if you're not just right on top of it, testing it all the time, all the time, making sure that your carbonate hardness is good, then you're going to end up with a pH crash. It's going to, your P, your uh, excuse me, your carbonate hardness is going to get exhausted. Boom, you're going to have a pH crash, uh, and plus you don't want to just, you know, who wants to test their tank every single day? That right there. I would not recommend that. You can do it if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend that. Um, why do people use RODI units? People use RODI units for two reasons. Number one, they have really bad water like me. I have really bad water. Uh, I get lime scale, calcium scale, rings all around the top of my tank. Uh, I get lime scale, build up calcium all up inside of my filters. It's just not a good thing. I don't want to have to clean that stuff up. Um, and I like soft water fish. So uh, I need an RODI unit uh, and also people use RODI units for breeding purposes because the conductivity rate is less inside the water which means the sperm penetrates the egg more easily in soft water, Okay, which an RODI unit will give you is soft water. Uh, so breeders love RODI units and therefore that's what this stuff is good for, that's what it's used for. Okay, I would never use it with tap water ever, as I've already stated why. Uh, you know, if, if, if you have an RODI unit, then you definitely need this stuff right here. Uh, don't use pH ups and pH downs on tap water. It's really, really dangerous uh, for your fish. Uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend that, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I'd love to get back with you on this on this topic right here. Um, this is a good tool for you if you have an RODI unit. If not, you know I wouldn't bother with it. Uh, if you want to acidify the profile of your tank naturally and you have neutral or kind of right around neutral water, get peat moss or get uh, uh, zoometic uh, driftwood. You don't have to soak that stuff, guys, trying to get the tannins out because your fish actually like that. Uh, uh, rams love the tannins inside of driftwood and you know it, it, it does stain your water like a tea color and and over a period of weeks that tea color will lighten up but your fish actually like that they they, they really do like the tannins inside the water so guys i'm scuba steve thanks for watching and i'm out